Ganga Black by Dynamic. Now, as you know, I'm a massive fan of the triple black and the uh, the standard black. I use the triple black for my like my darkest blacks, and then I'll dilute the standard black for my grey washes, so the mid tones um, and uh, the light tones as well. Ganga Black. This is. Yeah, I'm just going to give you a quick review. This is 10 out of 10, to be honest. I can't believe how how good it is. I saw when they dropped it, when Dynamic collabed with um, Ganga Tattoo, and I'm a big fan of his work, and I have been for years. So it's just something I because I because I because I I, tr I I I tried and tested this for years. I was like, I don't really want to go away from from my setup, but I thought, you know what? I did a I did a uh, a order the other day, and I thought. Okay, I'm just gonna try uh, Ganga Black, and I got some, and um, I, was so, I was so surprised, man. I was so surprised on how how well it performs. Like how, like for me, achieving smooth black and grey is um, is is the goal. So I got it, and I I thought, right, okay. So I looked at Ganga's tattoo work, and his is quite dark, and he tattoos a lot of black people as well. So um, so I was like, okay, like, and it, and it holds solid as well on that level of uh, pigment in the skin. So, so I thought, you know what? Let me give it a try, and I got it. And the first thing I did was set it out how I normally would with with my drop system. So I filled one cup up full with black, then I went down to three quarters, and I went uh, fifteen drops, uh, fifteen, sixteen drops, eight drops, four drops, two drops. Um, this is super pigmented. This is this has got a lot of pigmentation in this. So um, I found with the two drop cup, it was still quite dark. It's a lot darker than than this. Uh, well, it's not a lot darker, but you you can notice the difference between the two drop with this and the two drop with this. Um, so in future, I'm going to go one drop with this because I think it's it's more 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 than enough. But it's it's kind of like all my shades have gotten a tiny bit darker um, as I'm tattooing. So I'll have to really rinse my needle out just so I don't don't have any uh, dark ink still in my needle when I'm dipping into the light cups. Um, obviously to save uh, contamination, you know, making the lights dark and stuff like that if you don't wash your needle out properly. So I was, I was just super surprised at how smooth it is. It's, it's, it's the smoothest, the smoothest ink I've ever used and Dynamic are onto a winner here. Um, now, anything I review, I'll give my honest opinion. I'm not endorsed by Dynamic. Um, I've got quite a close relationship with them because I've been using them for years. And Marcus is a really cool guy. Um, and, you know, he's a he's a very, very good bu businessman. Um, and he strives for perfection like I do. So, um, and obviously seeing Ganga, uh, as big as he is, jump on board with Dynamic and, and some of my favourite artists as well, like Eric Macinazin, he uses Dynamic, I think, um, if he still does. When you're when when you're blending, when you're using the pendulum, uh, the the brush technique, it's just so smooth. It's so smooth. It, it you get the gradual, like it, it kind of it kind of takes out a bit of uh, it kind of. I can't really explain how it does it, but it's it just it's so smooth. To blend with this is a dream, um, and I'm not too sure what it is, but it's um, it's just so smooth to put in the skin. Um, even it, even at the lighter tones, it's, you can see it go into the skin straight away, and it's and it's EU approved as well. So I think the lack of um, alcohol, which what. Uh, Let's have a look. So they use benzyl alcohol instead of um, isopropyl alcohol. So that will probably, obviously this isn't EU approved, but this is um, because they've switched around the uh, the ingredients. But when I tried, because I, I think I tried another ink brand, I think it was black gold or gold black or something like that. Um, and I tried it, and that was EU standard as well. They just changed their uh, their ink up when the whole ink ban came in. I was thinking, oh crap! Like, 
I need I need to try it out in case it reaches the UK. So I bought some EU standard and it was just awful. It was so bad. Like it, it was very inconsistent. You really had to try to, to pack in um, solid black. It just wasn't consistent enough for me. Um, but this, oh my God, this, this just takes, this just takes a biscuit for me. Um, it's, I, I would say it's actually easier to pack in black than this. Um, and it's probably as dark as the triple black and it's, it's just easier to use because the triple black is so pigmented it's quite hard to wipe off the skin but this is so easy to wipe off the skin which saves your stencil um, so yeah so I just wanted to quickly do this do this review and urge people if you are on the dynamic train try ga uh, Ganga Black because I'm going to be sticking with this now for the rest of my tattooing life because it's it's perfect it's exactly what i was looking for in an ink and these were very 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 close if not like 10 out of 10 but since i've i've tried this they've dropped probably two points this is 10 out of 10 they're eight out of 10 in comparison so yeah guys try ganga black you won't regret it it's really good for lining really good for shading really good for packing black it's just the perfect all-round ink. So have a good night, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.